All right, I'm here with Rick, uh, Rick Lewis. Rick's out of St. Louis. He is a highfalutin chef. Uh, he's known all over the world. He's big in Africa and certain parts of South America. And uh, But he hails out of St. Louis, uh, where he has Grace, Meat, and Three restaurant. There you go. He is down visiting, and so um, I figured I'd throw him in the fire and come cook for the hardest people in the country to cook for, which is my parents. Um, uh, Kay's going to be cooking as well, and uh, but Rick is doing actually his famous fried chicken. So Rick, what is the key to good fried chicken? Uh, you know, secrets, love, magic. You're not going to tell us, are you? No, I can't you're give you all my us, secrets. You're not going to tell yet. us anything. You think you're going to cook without me? No, we're, we're ready. What are you cooking, Kay? Well, I'm supposed to be melting some butter. Well, I moved it because I think you were going to burn it completely up. So well, who put your... it up? I didn't put that up. Did you touch that? Kay has her good days and bad days. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the chicken. Kay, you do the mac and cheese. That's what we're about there. That one's almost. Yeah, we're about there. Kay, did you ever fry chicken? Have you ever fried chicken? Yes, I have. Phil thinks his is the best, of course. But I grew up. I ate fried chicken for breakfast. There you go. Did You're you my kind of lady. I know. That, Come on now. Did that, how'd that work out? <laughs> well, maybe it's why I need to lose a few pounds. I don't know. So one of one of the techniques, Will, is you got to have too small of a bowl and too much flour for oh, all okay. your chicken. Is that, is that the? That's the technique. You're gonna have everybody going out buying a small bowl. <laughs> small bowl. You're gonna say no. That's how he did it. He had a really small bowl. So yeah, and a I lot mean, of chicken in there. So what we're into is we're into like that flour and the skin kind of all becoming one nice crunchy layer. Yeah. So you kind of want to massage it in there. And then we're just going for like, we're knocking off the excess. You want to make sure all the skin is covered, but knocking off the excess. You got to knock off that excess. Shake it, shaking that chicken. A little shake and bake. We want to make sure we're not overflowing the pot. Easy, easy, big fella. Are you looking up your recipe? <laughs> no. Kay's you, looking up a recipe. When you get a certain age, hey, and you're going to get there Just too. so you know, that's not correct. I know, so I'm gonna make it correct. So, so one of the things you can do too, this is a little trick, is if you, when you uh, give it a little breading ahead of time, it kind of hydrates the flour and lets it tack up a little bit. Kind of adds to the crunchiness factor. So we're starting to get nice and golden brown and delicious. Sweet. Students, oh, Kay's doing her nine. Why did you do it that way? Why didn't you just, whatever that's gonna end up is what you should have put in the cookbook. Well. Kay's I, got nine tablespoons of flour. I'm like. I already so, did 12. Like there's I'm bigger afraid. measurement. Like you can put all yeah. that and go like. That's what it's like. I do it the pioneer way, the old timey way. <laughs> it's okay. a I think it's a half cup plus a tablespoon. Oh, okay. you're exactly right. Boom. That's oh, exactly I'm right. Gonna, I measured it all write out. That down. Said, so, well, you never told me. It's he in my me. cookbook. Wait, it's your cookbook. I thought you were actually. Well, actually, I, I lost control somewhere. <laughs> Did you double the? Quadruple. Oh, you quadrupled it. Okay, your strong suit wasn't math growing up, so. <laughs> I know, but dad helps with me. He well, good thing you married Phil, the pioneer man who's also educated. He is, and he's got his Yeah, I'm, you know, my favorite style of cooking is really just like home cooking, you know, like taking uh, local seasonal ingredients and then applying that to, to things that maybe remind you of your grandmother or your mom's cooking, things like that. I really love that. Kind of, I think food has a, kind of like a transcendent ability to really take you back to a time when things were a little simpler and more laid back. We'll just dump it in your pot. We'll no. Dump it all together. No, that's not the way I do it. You're going to do it my way, mister. Boss man. Now he knows what I'm talking about. When we go a certain way, even if it's old timey, and then Phil will come in and tell you exactly what he thinks, and he'll like it. But I'm gonna tell you something. He's gonna talk. You know, he's gonna say what all he says. So oh, you be prepared for him, I right? Get it. Yeah. 
I think there's like an old saying about that, like too many chefs in the kitchen or something like that. You know? But you know, really, for the first time since we've been old, we cook together. He got his thing, I got my thing, and then we put them together, and it's perfect. Yeah. I don't mess with him, and he don't mess with me. That's good. Now, he tries to tell me stuff, but I'm like, I'm doing it my way. So I know, you know, Phil and Miss Kay are known for their cooking. Everybody keeps telling me, like, you know, they'll let me know if it's if it's not up to snuff, then they're going to tell me. So, you know, I've been kind of rolling this around. I had a little trouble sleeping last night because I just feel like the pressure's on. You know, a guy like that's been around for a while, eating a mess of fried chicken, a lot of home cooking. We're down here in Louisiana. I'm this dude from, you know, St. Louis, Missouri. So, you know, the pressure's on a little bit. But I, I'm confident, you know. Our fried chicken, everywhere it goes, it seems to really win over people's hearts. So, yeah, I think we're going to come out of this doing pretty good. Father, thank you so much for this uh, day. Thank you for our opportunities that we have. Uh, thank you so much for uh, Rick and Lisa. And we just pray that uh, you be with them, bless them. Thank you for this great food and help us to always be bright lights uh, and show Jesus to everyone through his name. Amen. 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 Yeah, that looks good. Colonel Sanders, he cooked, he fried up some chicken for his buddy. He said, what do you think? His bubble, because had to, he had to fry a chicken for somebody. So that first chicken, some guy had to say, Colonel, that's, that's a good chicken. You should sell that. Maybe then, well, I think maybe we, so that's you coming, coming on strong here. See how, see how it turns <laughs> out. See how it turns out. next Colonel Sanders, dude. That'd be pretty good, I think. Yeah, you know, I like to think of this as something old and then something new. And these two things come together. Any chance I get to spend time with my mom and dad, uh, I cherish that because you never know how much longer you've got uh, before life happens and people move on. And so uh, mom has gotten older, but still in the kitchen, she just makes me laugh. Uh, I make her laugh and we just have a fun time. We've shared that since we were young. I'll give it to my old man. He's always open to something new. So the thought that I could bring in fried chicken and change his opinion, uh, which is pretty awesome. It says a lot about them. And Rick coming down, he's a great friend. And to teach something, uh, I just love that. I love getting in the kitchen and learning new stuff for me as well. And so I love bridging those things together. You know, when Jesus came, he took this old religion and then he had a whole new take on it. And it's not that he was abandoning that. Uh, he said, I came to fulfill it. I didn't came to do away with it. And so he made it better. And so I think in life, if we can make things better, we can take things from our past and appreciate them, uh, leave out the stuff that you want to leave out, but just make it better. And that was the whole idea. And so food's such a wonderful backdrop for this. We love food. We love uh, eating and we love preparing it and learning things new. And so uh, uh, such a fun time with mom and dad. And uh, always, always, always be ready to learn something new and get in there and try it.